Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is an energy of um, truth. Um, somebody is taking off a mask. I do see, you know, someone, it's almost like someone's being exposed. Um, you're seeing someone's true, authentic colors. This is someone who may be even confessing something to you, but there's just this en energy of transparency with this card. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this, Taurus. Okay, so the first card we have is the Two of Swords, and this is Air Energy. Next, we have the Page of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So I do see someone who you were suspicious of, or you may have had doubts about them. You're finding out something about them. And this is through your own investigation. With the Page of Swords, it's like you're investigating someone. You're looking into them. You could be checking their social medias. But there's just this energy of doing a, a deep dive on someone and coming to some sort of realization or exposing something from doing this. So you're definitely about to uncover something and you're going to see someone's true colors. Um, with the Two of Swords, I do see this as someone who you may have been skeptical of or guarded towards and you may have held off on making a decision of when it came to this person in some way. Um, you could have been at a crossroads with this person, but it's like um, intuitively you may have felt like you couldn't proceed because you may have felt like you needed more information. So you're about to find out something about this person. And I do see it's like, um, it's from your own hard work with this Eight of Pentacles, you're studying someone or you're looking into someone. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, um, Taurus. So at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so this is a very guarded defensive energy so you may be protecting yourself from someone here you may be um taking some sort of a pause or assessing the situation there's just this energy around you being a bit worried or fearful towards this person or feeling like you need to guard yourself this could even be you putting up some sort of boundaries when it comes to this situation or this person so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this okay so the first card we have is the wheel of fortune and this is fixed sign energy taurus leo aquarius scorpio energy next we have the five of pentacles in the reverse earth energy and finally we have the four of wands fire energy okay so there is definitely a shift that is going to happen in this connection I, I do see this as you changing your perspective on this person or even the situation itself there's going to be some sort of change that is happening with the wheel of fortune and i, I do see whatever you're finding out about this person it, it is helping you to um feel less guarded you know, because with this Nine of Wands, this is an energy of not giving up on someone. But this is also 
putting up boundaries. So it's like your the information that you're gathering is actually helping you to make more informed decisions moving forward when it comes to the situation. And it is also changing the dynamic of the connection completely with the Wheel of Fortune. But with the Five of Pentacles being in the reverse, um, this is, you know, bringing warmth to this connection. It's like you could be getting closer to this person. Um, you know, the, the veil is, is coming off. Whatever it was that was keeping you and this person almost um, separated in some way because of someone's inability to be vulnerable or some sort of secrets, these things are being removed and um, it's cultivating an air of closeness. Um, so I do see you seeing this person for who they really are and it's actually bringing you guys closer. Um, and with the Four of Wands, that is again a wish fulfillment. This is um, a celebration. This is a reunion. This is coming closer together again is, is what we're seeing here. So um, I do see you getting the information that you need in order to feel safer in this connection. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. So the card says, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So this is definitely a change in perspective, seeing the whole situation, getting clarity, also getting truth. So I do see there's this new perspective. Um, also optimism, you know, feeling safer, more secure here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Taurus. So the card says, romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so um, you could be uncovering the truth of this person's feelings. With that seven of swords, that could be somebody who hasn't been completely honest or authentic about their feelings. Um, but I do see you also exploring your feelings here. There is a sense of both people, um, you know, being more um, vulnerable with each other, opening up more about their feelings, sharing feelings, and this is leading to this reunion. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Taurus. So the card says, sacred lotus, enlightenment, no mud, no lotus. Okay, so with this enlightenment energy, you're, you're getting the truth of something. And um, again, we're seeing with this wounded warrior energy and this no mud, no lotus energy, it's like you are going to go, th you, there's a sense of having gone through something quite difficult with this person, um, but it's like, coming out on the other side with something quite sacred um it's it's like it's you're going through the difficulty but you're getting to a more positive side um in this connection so i do see instead of running away from something that's hard you guys are facing it and it is um leading to some sort of fulfillment it is um changing the dynamic of this um situation and it's making this connection all that more sacred it's like you're finally being able to be it's like you're seeing into this person there's this deepened um into that is definitely bringing this connection, um, you know, making this connection stronger or stabilizing this connection in some way. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.